is the name of this trick? This trick is called shikke, and it's actually like a very it's a, it's like a sweet rice drink, uh, which is uh, quite sugary. It's a very famous uh, uh, summer drink and also like a dessert drink. So wow, it's a dessert drink. Yeah, it's really really good. So since we just had a little bit of food, uh, it's a good way to uh, kind of finish it off. Sip of this shikke. Is it called shikke? Oh, shikke. Mmm. This is like ambrosia. Seriously, a drink for the gods. Aptly fitting because I am a god. Ha 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 ha. Oh, just joking. Anyways, you have to come and get this. Shike. It's really, really delicious, especially since it's so hot in Seoul uh, today. Mmm. And it's got rice down at the bottom of it. But you can't really taste the rice, it just tastes really, really sweet and really cool and very, very refreshing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to eat some Korean pancakes. Mike, can you explain to us what are these pancakes called? Uh, so these pancakes are called pindetok. Uh, which is actually a Korean style uh, mung bean pancake. Mung so, bean? Yeah, mung bean. It's like the same family as uh, soybeans. Oh. So uh, it's very, very healthy. Uh, it's actually uh, made with all vegetables, purely all vegetables. So uh, it's actually vegan friendly as well. Uh, and also gluten free. So it's actually quite healthy for even though it's uh, deep fried. Uh, but uh, they are made with mung beans, bean sprouts, chives, and leeks. And at this particular shop, they put a little bit of kimchi into it. Ooh, so, it's quite nice. Really nice. Especially for people like me who don't eat a lot of meat. So, yeah, let's dig in. So, Mike, I just heard uh, the waitress mention something about a service. That's a English sounding word that's spoken in Korean. What does that mean? So we have a lot of words in Korea that are, uh, we call it Konglish words, right? So Korean English words. Uh, so basically uh, English words that have been kind of Koreanized, uh, brought into the Korean language. Uh, so service literally means like kind of like free food, uh, something that they're kind of giving like a free service to you. Um, so like if you know the owners really well or you know, like you treat them really well, sometimes they'll give you like free stuff. And so she actually gave us a, uh, a uh, free pancake on top as well, which is actually uh, which is actually a meat one. Um, so this one is uh, something that she just gave us for free. Yo, Mike, what is that? Oh, this? Uh, this is uh, makgeolli actually. Uh, so makgeolli is actually a uh, rice wine. Uh, most people call it rice wine. I would call it rice beer just because the process of making it is similar to beer uh, more than it is for wine. Uh, but it's typically a rice drink that we usually drink uh, with uh, the pancakes. So they, it's kind of like a food pairing. So we have a lot of food pairings in Korea. And so this is one of them. So Mike, what is the process of drinking makgeolli? What do we do, do first? So usually makgeolli, so usually all the uh, commercial bottles of makgeolli are usually fairly carbonated. So usually, and it usually settles, settles to the bottom. So you kind of want to flip it upside down and kind of roll them. Mm. So if you roll it, uh, it won't, uh, like you don't want to shake it up vigorously or else it'll just explode all, all over yourself. So always want to roll it like this. And then when you open it, it has a little bit of carbonation. So it's kind of like a milky color, but actually there's no uh, milk or lactose inside of it whatsoever. Uh, it's actually quite healthy as well. Uh, it actually has uh, probiotics inside of it, so it's a healthy way of getting drunk. Makgeolli has probiotics inside? I did not know that. Yeah, so uh, they actually, so usually all of them usually have probiotics inside of them. Uh, some actually have prebiotics as well, so it's a little bit healthier. So it's a very, very good drink, uh, low in alcohol percentage. Like this one's only 5%, um, so it can range as far as uh, about 18%. So, but uh, this stuff is pretty easy to drink, very light, and it goes really well with the food. Whenever we cheers, we usually say Chan. So Chan is the sounding of the clanging of the glasses. So Chan. Okay, so we just finished eating the traditional Korean pancake, which is again, Mike, what is it called? Pindeto. Uh, so it costs 5,000 won per pancake. Very, very highly recommended. 
I'm very picky about food, as you know, but I'm definitely coming back here to eat that pancake. Hey, Mike, so what are we getting now? Uh, so this is something called hot duck. And so hot duck is basically like uh, one of the most common um, uh, dessert foods that we have here in Korea. Mm. And so it's actually like a type of pastry, uh, as you can see right here. So it's a little pastry that's been uh, deep fried. Uh, it's stuffed with uh, kind of like a like a cinnamon uh, honey kind of syrup and uh, filled with uh, mixed nuts. Mm. It's quite nice, sweet, and delicious. It's pretty Ooh, uh, hot. Mmm, but it's delicious. Mm. You can't really see any of the filling on the inside, but... Gotta bite a little bit deeper. It's too it's, hot. It, it's, it's pretty hot. It's scorching hot, but it's so good. I can imagine myself eating this with ice cream on top. Where are we now? We are at a place called 7.8 Makgeolli. And so they're actually known for their uh, Makgeolli, which is the uh, rice drink that I was telling you guys about earlier. So what's the crowd of people who usually come to this place? So oddly enough, it's usually a lot of uh, young Korean girls that usually come here. And part of the reason why it's usually them is because they're usually the most common people that usually tend to drink this stuff. Uh, because it's very light, it's very easy to drink, uh, low in alcohol as well, and it's also healthy. This is uh, called yesterday, so kure kunal, and so this is actually uh, something that's a little bit different and a little bit more unique compared to some of the other uh, makgeollis that we usually drink. So this one we actually don't mix up. So you can see all the set settlements on the bottom. Okay guys, so this concludes our day uh, at Guangzhou Market and we are going to head home because we've been out all day. Actually, to be honest, we're gonna get something else to eat because the food here is so delicious. Mike, thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks for giving us the uh, the knowledge that you've accumulated over the years of being a food tour guide here in Seoul. Please come here and take the real tour. I'll see you guys soon. I'll put his Instagram handle in the description box. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching us and thanks for joining us see you later next time peace the love we found